A quick change of an electrical outlet coming up next on the At Home channel at buildopedia.com. Hi there, I'm Jeff Wilson. Thanks for joining me. Uh, today, our homeowner has painted this room recently and wants to change out the ivory outlets and switches for white. And this is a very simple project that any homeowner can do. Tools are simple, a pair of pliers, and maybe a couple of screwdrivers. But first, we want to make sure that the power is off to the outlet before we start working on it. And the way you want to do that is to use any number of electrical testers. These all work in a slightly different way, but they all get the job done. One is a plug-in type that simply plugs into the outlet. And if the lights come on, we've got power at the outlet. The next one is this probe type. Probes go into the outlet. If the light comes on, there's power at the outlet. The third is this pen type. Simply push the button, put it into the hot side and you'll get light and a noise if there's power at the fixture. So what we want to do is go down to the electrical panel and shut off the breaker for this circuit. Let's go. Okay, lights were on when I left, they're off now, power's off to this circuit. I'm going to start by removing the switch plate here. And then the two screws that hold the outlet in place. Once the outlet is loose, you can just pull it out of the box. And then loosen the screws on the sides of the outlet. And pull the wires off. Now we'll install our, our white outlet. The black wire goes to the hot side, the white wire goes to the common side, and the bare wire goes to the green screw, which is the ground. In some cases, you may have two sets of wires that come into the box. One set is coming from the electrical panel to the plug. The other side is going from the plug to another outlet somewhere else on the circuit. You'll need to hook up both blacks to the hot side and both whites to the common side. Now, in this case, we only have one black and one white wire, black to hot, white to common, bare wire to the ground screw. So we want to try and fold the wires carefully back into the box. If you can sort of accordion the wires without stressing them out too much, screw the top and bottom in, but don't screw them in all the way just yet. So you'll notice that the holes for the mounting of the outlet leave you a little bit of room to move it back and forth. So you want to make sure that the outlet is perpendicular to the floor so that your switch plate cover will be straight. And then you can tighten up the screws. And finally, the new white cover. That's all there is to it. Now we'll just need to turn the power back on. All right, we've got power back at our outlet and our little tester will actually show us too whether it's wired correctly or not. There's a little chart on top of the tester and you can reference that to see if you've done the job right. All right, I'm Jeff Wilson. Just a quick tip to give power to the people on the at-home channel at buildopedia.com.